kids and cadets. Oh, wow. Glad to see all of you. I, I think I'm semi back online. We'll see how it goes. I'm using battery backup for the internet. I had called the 1-800 number just to see what was going on. It had been a week and I had Uncle Brad check my address to see if there was outage in my neighborhood. He said, no, you should have it. So I called. Lady did a check. She's got to send a technician out. But I kind of jump-started it with a battery pack for the 12 volt. Anyway, it seems to be working. Maybe they still need to change the box. That's the story. I'm trying to get back in the groove of things. Work last week, work last Saturday at my job to try to make up for lost time due to the hurricane. They've already come and taken the pile away from the front of my house, the FEMA sponsored um, crews. I think they were from Louisiana. <clears throat> I, I gave him a cold drink. One guy was driving, an older guy, and he let the young kid run the crane. It looked like he had just started that day. Kind of looking at the handle, seeing which one moved up and down, but he finally got it squared away. The truck driver was yelling at him in Spanish, trying to coach him along how to <clears throat> do it. You see some of these experienced guys with the claws and the clamshells. They can pick up stuff, get it to the bed, and just throw it and let go of the claw at the same time. I mean, I mean they're really accurate with those <clears throat> claws they can do two two things at once pick up and then throw the stuff in the the back of the truck this guy had to look at handles to figure out what to do but that's fine he'll learn so i may have discussed this Honda the guy dropped it off he wanted the back wheels changed so i finally got a hold of him he had messaged me a few times on Facebook, but I've been off line. I use a desktop for all my internet work, and like I said, that was down. So I told him before the storm to come get it, and he kind of ignored me. So I didn't want to be liable for it. A tree falls on it. <clears throat> So in the meantime, the wheels finally came in. I put the wheels on it, and he says, does it, does it still run after the storm? And I never tested it before. My only job was to do the wheels. So I says, I don't know. I never tried it before or after the storm. So I don't know if he was trying to get me to fix something that wasn't discussed but it, it did start put the wheels on wheels would not engage so I said oh boy maybe I ought to look at these things a little bit better anyway I ended up adjusting the cable it wouldn't do anything and I ended up extending the cable maybe five turns and now it grabs. So I told him to come get it. Another guy came this morning. I fixed a mower for him. I had sold it and the um, cable got a little rusty, wouldn't start. I gave him a free repair, his first call back. So I gave him a free cable, told him to have a nice day. So things were kind of dead. Um, scrapper that delivers came the beginning of the week he met me before work one day i had a late start and he <clears throat> said i got a couple of mowers so i says come on over and i'll i'll look so he brought me this john deere he showed me this taro first this is rusted out but he said it's complete and it is all the cables 
look good so I can strip this down for parts. Don't know if it starts or not. Really haven't looked at it. I've been busy dealing with the internet provider and other issues. So I saw this and this was one of them. I thought it was um, going to be a cable issue. The drive cable here was off. But my son came over this morning and I was looking at it a little closer and noticed the uh, ropes broken. So this thing may start but not drive. The deal is, is up here the, the cables broken off of the drive still has the battery that's probably dead the key is still up there on the handle a little paint missing there i think i got some john deere green oil ain't bad so what are these uh, 725s or 765s the um bill date for the engine 10th month of 09 2009 it's the uh, JS 46 so I saw this on his trailer and didn't see any rush through so I I gave 20 for this and 20 for that I figured the Kohler 675 was worth 20 bucks the drive wheels look good you know what I mean Oh, oh, I see. He was holding up the floppy deck with this string wrapped around the gas tank. That's cute. Oh, that's really cute. I guess that's one way of doing it, but there's too much slack in it. So we got other things to discuss. That's overfilled. So I was finally going through all my emails and um, messaging a few of you guys. I really want to say thanks for messaging me, checking on me. I, I could do anything like I said, no internet. I'm really appreciative of you guys worrying, wondering, because it was a direct hit on Sarasota County. So I was checking email and I heard a truck pull up and stop and it was Paul. He, he was referred to be by another scrapper and I bought stuff off him before. And we were talking about the storm, a branch fell on the windshield of his truck, but he came through it unscathed. So he had this, I was kind of looking it over and then a <clears throat> local scrapper in the neighborhood showed up pulled up right behind us so i i paid 20 for this and then went right on to the second batch that came in so i ended up buying what do we got here one two three four five he had i guess held these for a while so i talked to both of them about Scrapping. They've dropped the price of aluminum since there's so many pool cages and mobile home roofs and awnings. They've dropped the price. And the wait's two hours to get into these joints. So you're making less per pound and you got to wait two hours. So it's not really a good proposition for these scrappers. But they're doing it because they need the, the money. So I paid uh, 60 for everything. He said this one had the instruction. I said they put the manual out on the unit to the curb and he said yes. So you, you don't see that too often, the Toro manual. <clears throat> so I figured this would be worth something with the Honda. This baby 20, I could probably get going. I noticed it was beat up a little bit no cover there weed eater high wheeler figured i could do something with that i did see this 
damage here that's tweaked. I, I got these cages from dead engines. In this, I didn't pay too much attention to this Tecumseh powered Toro. No, it's a Craftsman, I'm sorry. So I thought, was this in a garage and this is dust? And then I realized just looking at it a few minutes ago, this might be a flood. This is all sand, I think. Or it was in a garage where there was a lot of woodworking or met, um, what would you say, stone cutting or tile cutting. So I was going to check the um, gas on this. I kind of looked at the oil. The oil was not milkshake. If the uh, water gets in the oil, it'll look like a McDonald's milkshake. And then another Tecumseh-powered fat wheel lawn boy. So I think we have some stuff here to work with. I'll get my 60 back out of it. Maybe won't do anything with that crafty oil looks good here. I'm not going to try to start any of these. I just wanted to basically tell you what's happened or happened or will happen. So I had a couple weeks worth of messages for my mower ads and I messaged everybody, said I was back <clears throat> back in business. So only a couple of people have responded back. To me, it's usually like that. You'll get one out of ten that are really interested. The, the others are just time wasters. So let me look for the uh, turkey baster. I just want to check that craftsman out, see if the tank is full of water. So things that kind of got blew around, as you can imagine. I should have did a better job of securing stuff. But for the most part, it stayed still or within a, a few feet where I left it. Stuff did get blown off my front porch, but just onto the ground, not into anybody's yard. Okay, I got the um, turkey baster. Looked for it before and looked right at it and walked by, but we got it in my hand now. Let me take a can and uh, check this thing out. <clears throat> so it looks like I'm back in business. I got shit to repair. It was kind of like I said, dead because of the storm. I thought maybe it would be the end of the season as far as scrappers bringing stuff, but we'll see how it turns out if people come out and still buy. Okay, looks like it's straight gas. straight gas and it, it smells kind of fresh so let me just tilt this to this side let the water go to that side of the tank oh yep yeah. that did it that did it as far as it scooped up the water that second um lift was 95 percent water so i don't know if this was submerged or were they using bad fuel to begin with i think it was submerged because i see i see like surface rusting up here this shouldn't rust you got rusting here on the wheel adjuster so i do think this one was submerged you know what i mean Plug rust, rust there, rust there, rust up here. 
and this is fresh rust. You know, it's not scaly. You can tell this is fresh. So th I think this was a submerged machine. Let me uh, push it forward and we'll tip it over. Kind of an old, old dog. Or you can kind of see the water line that um, dust stops right about here. Then it's clean. So what's that up? Up to my pocket. Two and a half, three feet. more fresh rust. I think this was a rust a -roo. Let me go a little forward. I'm hitting the lawn boy. Arr. Doesn't really show much down here. It normally would be rusty here anyway. But sitting in a shed or outside, you got some cobwebs. So this thing was non-running before it got flooded out. Got some white crust on the aluminum transmission. I don't know, is this one going to be salvageable? We'll have to find out. Blades worn out. So yeah, I definitely think this was a floody, floody, floody. That's too bad. I'm surprised it didn't penetrate the oil case here. You know what I mean? Guess it was a good seal. Okay, so that's that's my update for you. So thanks again, all you guys. I'm glad to be back online. There's more to discuss, but I'll keep this one short. We'll, uh, we'll look at some more crap in the near future. If you want to email me, let me know how you're doing, what you're fixing. Tommy, period, time at yahoo.com. Like I said, I'll try to get through the week with the battery-powered router. I think I can do it until they come out and rectify whatever they got to rectify. Adios, amigos. Tip your waitress and waitstaff. Good to see all of you again. Thank you.